compete to show off their intelligence is in the stir this morning. It's called Child Genius. It's creating a debate about how much parents should push their kids to get ahead. And ABC's Mars Gavacampo has the story. These are some of the brightest kids in the United States. My goal is to get a PhD by the time I get my driver's license. It's the competition series where the contestants are small, but the IQs uh, through the roof. My daddy's not as smart as me because he has a 135 on his IQ and I got a 146. Lifetime's new quiz show, Child Genius, premiering Tuesday night. Eutrophication. Correct. And with $100,000 on the line, practice, practice, practice. The pressure from their parents is on. I'm leaving. You're never satisfied, Mom. <sighs> but is it too much, too young? If the kids are pushed too far, too hard, that can be devastating. 12 year old Ryan Shea is one of the show's top competitors. As my parents always tell me, if I work really hard in my childhood, I won't have to work as hard later on. If you want to be the best in this nation, you pretty much have to sacrifice all your fun time. Sometimes. Sometimes or all the time. Sometimes. 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 Graham Kurtzinger, part of Ryan's competition, his parents using a different strategy. Well, our primary focus is not just academics. We want him to be a well-rounded individual. The show is just one tiny speck in my life. I don't want to be known as Kid genius or whatever. Other shows like Lifetime's Dance Bombs you are not backing up a and Fox's Master Chef Junior that is embarrassing. also featuring preteens who some would say are often pushed to the breaking point. Oh my god. But parenting experts caution it's just a game. But the important part of it is to be able to play the game and win or lose with grace. Correct. For Good Morning America, Mara Skepocampo, ABC News, New York. And our parenting expert, Erica Suter, joins us now. I'll confess, Erica, when I see my kids watching the shows, I go and change the channel. What's yeah, your take? Yeah. We have to remember that they are just kids on this show, and reality TV really increases the pressure. You know, everyone's watching, their friends, their parents, their community, the world, and so when they make a mistake, it's just more intimidating, and it lives on forever on uh, YouTube. How about the parents that, you know, have kids who are not uh, on television? What are the signs that they're going to get back from their kids that they might be pushing their kids a little too hard? Well, you really have to watch the stress level. You know, it's not just about them complaining that they don't want to do something. It's, do they feel the weight of the world on their shoulders? Are they freaking out when they make even the tiniest little mistake? These things should be more fun for them. But then, so it's, it's kind of hard that you want your kids to do as well as they possibly can, to work right. as hard as they possibly can. Right. So what, what, what's your advice to, to parents on, on how far to push your kids? Well, there are three questions I think parents should ask themselves. Number one, are they pushing them too hard? Too many extra practices, too many extra whatever. You know, number two, you know, are the kids having fun? There should be some enjoyment out of it. And maybe the most important, are your kids feeling good about themselves? These activities should increase their pride. They should be proud of what they're doing and help build their self-esteem, not make them feel yeah, bad. Yeah, you have to have that feeling of mastery. The more you work at something, the better you're going to do. You do. You do. You really have, your kids should be becoming a more well-rounded person by doing these activities, not feeling like, I didn't score that goal, I'm such a loser, this is horrible, or I didn't win the competition. Okay, Erica Suter, thanks very much. Child Genius airs Tuesday nights on Life. Time and coming up, 